good afternoon my dear students today i am going to continue the chapter ailing planet so in the introduction part means part 1 i had given you explanation about uh, ailing planets here planet is actually our earth in on which we human beings and living things are living here so it is the only planets where human survival is there so it is now ailing means it is uh it go it is having a very big disease and what is that now it is depleting it is destroying it is decaying it is going to be very soon you know uh desert and barren unfertile unproductive so these are the symptoms of its uh, ailment its disease and human beings will have to think how to cure the ailment of this vital disease of the planet on which we are living and getting everything for survival it was the selfish Uh, and greed nature of the human being that has completely destroyed the balance of this planet of all four major areas the forest the forest area the grassland the cropland and obviously the fourth one is fisheries or we can say that fisheries forest cropland and grassland these all four are completely destroyed and main are human beings are you know just taking the resources of the nature as if they don't have tomorrow they don't have complete sense to just think about that what will happen if the the resources we are taking will get over so we are not maintaining sustainable development means we are not thinking our future we will have to think about sustainable development that whatever amount of resources we are taking things we are taking we will also have to balance it okay for the use of the future generation and that exactly we are not doing so we are actually harming the sustainable development of the ecological system biological system okay of the earth the chapter is very very in detail giving the classification okay and in the catalog form all the uh, selfish deeds of human being and how human beings are you know just destroying it i had given you in in previous class that the top 10 most polluted city of the world india rank okay number 1 and out of 10 we have 6 or 7 uh, city like we have kanpur gurgaon noida even patna is there the most polluted city 7th or 6th number so we are actually due to the smokes vehicles industry setup and countless number of cutting tree in order to set up industry constructing building we have totally destroyed nature okay so the writer is very much concerned okay about this and also wanted that all the human beings should take concern of this and plant tree more and more and try to protect this uh, planet so i am reading some of the paragraphs you please see scientists have cataloged about 1.4 million living species with which mankind shares the earth now this is a very sensitive matters okay uh you just see the news paper okay and the and the new channels or the scientific discovery channels you will come to know that the time is not very far that one day we won't be able to see the sparrow bird okay the bees are unable to uh, they are going to very soon uh, just extinguished or uh, 
die from uh, from the from our planet because of the installation of you know uh, seam tower they have actually destroyed the natural habitats of you know birds and bees also and, and their survival is very much important for the human being estimates vary widely as regards the still uncatalogued living species and more are uncatalogued biologists recon means they call that about 3 to 100 million other living species still languished unnamed ignominious darkness if they have not found still they live okay one of the early international commissions which dealt inter alia with the questions of ecology and environment was the brand commission which had a distinguished indian as one of its okay member mr l k j ha the first brand report raised the question are we to leave our successors a scorched planet of advancing deserts impoverished landscapes and ailing environment this was the question okay of the brand pit report that are we going to destroy this planet on which we are living for our future generation is telling that a scorching planet means it will getting heat day by day okay every year the temperature is rising why because we don't have sufficient number of trees that can absorb the heat of the sun that can just purify the uh, the hot winds so these things are there we will have to take initiative and plant more and more tree and fortunately we are in the same month okay where in which the environmental day is celebrated on 5th june okay so now earth day and whatever is there we should you know plant tree and whatever plants are there we must preserve them also so this was the question mr lester r brown in his thoughtful book the global economic prospects there is no need of explanation these things are quite clear and uh, the details and the, the classifications are obviously you know very fine and clear points out that the earth principal biological system are four that i just explained earlier fisheries forest grasslands and cropland these are the four biological systems okay and this these four are totally devastated destroyed completely damaged okay the condition of sea is not good because of the excessive fishing okay and excessive you know transportation even the sea route is very busy you will surprise to know that the sea route is the most busy route okay even there is a traffic in the sea more than the traffic of the you know vehicles on the road and they are there is a traffic because of the transportation okay and because of the oil supply and because of the excessive fishing forests are also being cut okay due to the human uh, greeds they want furniture they want paper they want uh, currency notes okay for this the forest is very much important and that's why they are cutting and destroying grasslands is also there the grass is very much important the, the grassland just uh, maintain the slide okay and the 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 top most soil that is fertile uh, soil it was the grass that maintains the the fertility of uh, a soil and if grassland is devastated and then the whole system will be there whole system will be destroyed and damaged so it is the fertility that is maintained by grassland at the same time uh, on grassland it is the grassland on which the animals okay are totally dependent the birds are dependent okay on this so indirectly they will damage everything animal kingdom the fertility of you know the the fertility of the soil and at the same time the life of uh, animals and birds and cropland cropland here refers to the fertility of the grain and even we don't have sufficient amount of land where we can just uh, uh, plant uh, grow uh, grain okay sufficiently because at the area of cropland we are just uh, also building constructing buildings okay and just uh, going through the highway and just 
railway and everything is going on there on the even in the cropland area the buildings are just constructed in maximum numbers and because of that the cropland area are also getting less day by day and they form the foundation of the global economic system and these are the four things okay who are actually boosting the economic system of the globe global economic system in addition to supplying our food these four system provide virtually all the raw materials for industry except minerals okay and petroleum petroleum derived synthetics except these three things the human beings are totally dependent on this only okay all these four, four uh, biological systems in large areas of the world human claims on these systems are reaching an unsustainable development they are totally un un uh, sustainable level, level a point where the productivity is being impaired means they are totally damaged when this happens fisheries collapse forests disappear grasslands are converted into barren that is wasteland okay unfertile land and croplands deteriorates they will unable to produce grain there okay so in a protein conscious and and protein hungry world overfishing is common every day means he is just giving the detail and and the explanation about that what are the area and where human being is dependent for what so it is the fisheries so we are dependent for protein there okay the lux the cream and many more things are just we are getting from dependent on the fish so we are fishing okay excessively for all these things in poor countries local forests are being decimated in order to procure firewood for cooking just like in our country in our state bihar jharkhand um, in the neighboring uh, neighboring state jharkhand and some part of the bihar the people are just cutting in the jahanabad area so they are just cutting the plant in order to meet with this uh, firewood demand so expensive that what goes under the pot now cost more than what goes inside it but now it is little bit stable because of the uh, introduction or the coming of the gas so cng gas is there okay or the cooking gas so because of that a little bit uh, system has improved but the condition is still very damaged okay and very serious since the tropical forest is in the world in the words of you know uh, dr uh, myers now see the about the his his explanation about the you know tropical forest the power house of evolution several species of life face extinction as a result of its you know, destruction he is telling that because of the uh, tropical forest okay we have we are facing so many problems those who are near the Uh, patna zoological garden okay so rajiv sanjay gandhi you can see there how the animals are living there and how they are just in a very extreme condition okay they are dying they are unable to survive there because the zoo is in the midst of town and they are unable to sleep they are unable to uh, just produce their offsprings so many problems are there the power house of evolution several species of life face extinction means it is just i i gave you the explanation of you know a sparrow bird the crow bird okay the vultures bird they all are almost extinguished okay and they are going to very soon okay will be just like in a dinosaur case that they the people will come to know about their name but there will be no trace of these you know birds as a result of its you know, destruction it has been well said that forest precede man and deserts follow if forest will be not there the humans will not develop okay they will not able to just meet with their demands the world's ancient patrimony of tropical forest is now eroding at the rate of 40 to 50 million acres a year the very uh, severe statics that shows that how the human beings are very in fast speed destructive destroying and damaging the environmental system and the growing use of dung for burning uh, deprives the soil of an important natural fertilizers 
and even the cow dungs okay and the animal dungs we are using for uh, in order to um, burnings for uh, in place of firewoods so because of this also uh, the land is also losing its uh, natural fertilizers by the help of that dung okay of animals it maintains its fertility and able to just uh, uh, give or produce you know uh, grain or the maintain its quality the world bank estimates that a five fold increase in the rate of forest planting is needed to cope with the expected fuel wood demand in the year 2000 this was their expectation okay till 2000 and now we are in 2020 so this estimation is more than 30 40 years before and now due to the advent of you know um, cooking gas uh, we are little bit comfortable okay we are not totally dependent on the firewood but uh, still some parts are there okay in the in india that most of the family are totally dependent on the firewoods and they are cutting plants okay in order to meet the demand of the firewoods so he's telling that uh, five fold increase means more than five times we'll have to whatever uh, uh, the plants are there uh, more five times more than that okay we'll have to plan and maintain them even even that okay then only we can just cope with the demand we are not going to cure it means he is telling that the condition of the condition of the earth has become the just like the patient of a diabetes patient okay it can be just a uh, sugar patient okay means a kind of any kind of disease it has now it is incurable uh, it can be just maintain giving you know medicine or injection just like uh, you know uh, cancer or just like a diabetes so when a person will just taking dose of medicine or, or injection till the man will be or the the disease man will be you know feeling well good and healthy but as soon as he will just uh, stop taking the dose of medicine and injection the condition will be same the same condition is here the, tra the narrator trying to highlight the condition of the earth is similar to that of a disease patient okay that is that is that is the patient of you know diabetes patient or the cancer patient or any disease patient whose, whose ailment is incurable so this is a very serious matter we need to just think about this the question is given here read the story ailing planets and prepare a list of new words that you will have to do and uh, why does nani palkiwala call the earth the ailing planet okay how can the ailing planet survive so the, we are discussing how can we maintain the ecological balance what are the things we will have to maintain the environment you will have to just explain thank you very much all the best god bless you all